Hi, good morning all. Today we will discuss one example for how to convert the requirements to an ER diagram. They have given some set of requirements. First let me read out the requirements. After reading it, we will start constructing the ER diagram. In an institute, every student belongs for a department. Yeah, obviously if a student is there, he should belong to a, some department. A department can have more than one student. Yes, if you take the CS department will have 400 students. Mechanical will have some hundred students like that each department will have some students that is also correct requirement New department may not have any student. Yes, obviously if it is a newly developed department There may be no students because there was no admissions were done. So students are not there So using these requirements they are asking us to construct the ER diagram before constructing the ER diagram We need to find out what is the cardinality and participation for each entity don't worry about what is cardinality and participation. I will discuss in detail. Okay. So if you see that we have two entities, one is the student and a department, but institute can be also an entity, but there is no relationship. They have not given any relationship between the institute and the student and the department. So institute, I will not consider as an entity in this example. So I have a student entity and a department entity. So let me represent it as before going for the diagram, we will take a small example so that we can find the, what is the cardinality and participation for each entity. Let's take that this is a student entity, okay, and we have a department entity. Now, then let me take that there are some set of students, are there, student number one, three, up to five, and there are three departments are there. Now student 1 and 2 belongs to department 1, student 3, 4, 5 belongs to department 2. There is no student belongs to department 3 because to clarify the third requirement, I have taken a department 3 which is a new department which does not have any students. Okay, so now what is meant by cardinality? The cardinality will say that if you have a student 1, how many entities in other department he is having a relationship? Let me discuss again. If you have a student entity called S1, he is having how many relationships he is having with the other entities? How many other entities he is having the relationship? So if you see that S1, he is having the relationship only with department 1. If you take S3, he is having the relationship only with department 2. So I can say that maximum a student is having with a, a relationship other entities only with one entity he is having a relationship so the cardinality is one for the student what about the cardinality of the department the cardinality of the department is suppose if you take the department one he is having the relationship with two entities if you see take the department two he is having the relationship with three entities so Let's take that there may be a scenario. You have n students, n number of students are there, and there are two departments. Okay. Now all the n number of students may belongs to only department one. There are no students belongs to department number two. Okay. So in that case, the cardinality of the department will be n. Why it so that why we should not take it as three or two? We should always go for the generalized. If there are n number of students are there. All the young students may be belongs to single department. So then in that case, I can say that department one is having the relationship with n entities. So I can say that the department cardinality is n. Now we will discuss what is the participation. The cardinality will say is that maximum, whereas participation says that minimum. Meaning is that student one can have minimum with the relationship with how many entities if you see that student one minimum will have with a relationship with the d1 student three is having a relationship with the department two student five is having a relationship with department two so i can say that minimum is one for the student what about the participation value for the department if you see that department one is having relationship with two Department 3, 3. Department 3 is having 0. Is it clear? So it does not have any relationship with any entity. So minimum value for the department is 0. 
So once we found the cardinality and participation for each entity, we can start constructing the ER diagram or we can represent the ER diagram. The ER diagram we can represent in two ways. Okay, let me erase this one so that we can represent the ER diagram. The e as I said earlier, the ER diagrams can be represented in two ways. What are the two ways is that the one is the cardinality ratio representation and another one is min-max representation. So we will discuss both the representations. The first one is cardinality ratio representation. How it is that? Take the two entities. How the entity will be represented in the ER diagram in a rectangle. So you have a student entity and you have a department entity and the relationship between them is student belongs to a department so the relationship name is belongs okay so you have the two entities student and department and the relationship is belongs now once you got the cardinality ratio now if you see the n number of students belongs to a department am i right or wrong because a department can have more than one student. Even lot of people will confuse that with this one. As the cardinality of the student is 1, cardinality of the department is n. People will represent like this, but it is wrong. If I read it in as a sentence, one student belongs to n department. That is not the requirement they have given. They have given the requirement as n number of students belongs to a department. So you should write the cardinality of the department should be written here. The cardinality of the student should be represented here. So, n number of students belongs to one department. So, we have written the cardinality. Sir, so where is the participation is required? Whether the student is participated, meaning is that all the students participated in the relationship? Yes, participation is one. So, I can say that it is a total participation. Total participation will be represented using a double line. Let me repeat again, what is meant by participation means all the students participated in the relationship. So I can call it as a total participation. Whereas there is some department which does not participate in a relationship. So I can call this re relationship or this one is partial participation because some department is not participating in the relation. So we can call the participation is zero. So we can say that it is a partial participation. So this representation we will call it as a cardinality ratio representation. Now next one we will represent it as the same year diagram we will represent it as min-max representation. Min-max representation means you will have a student entity, you will have a department entity and the relationship between them you will have the belongs relationship. Now here you have a student and the department. Now each entity will have minimum value and maximum value. Here also minimum value and maximum value. What is the minimum value of the student? It is nothing but the participation. So value is 1. What is the maximum value is the cardinality which is also 1 for the student. Here you have to represent for the student only. If for the department the minimum value participation is 0, maximum value is cardinality is n. So, we have constructed the ER diagram for these requirements in two ways. One is the cardinality ratio representation, another one is min max representation. You can use any representation as per your comfort. Okay. So, this kind of relationship we will call it as one to many relationship. Okay. I hope you have understood how I constructed the ER diagram from the requirements. I request everyone to go through my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my videos, please like them, give your feedback in the comment section, share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you so much.